Yeah, absolutely. You know, I enjoyed playing for them under the brief time that I did at Telford. Um, as I say, it was just one of those things that Vaughan was in the team and, mm. you know, I, uh, the truth be told, I didn't really want to be a right back. You know, I'd, I'd played for sort of six months for the, for the youth team at Telford in the, in the number 10 or, you know, attacking, attacking midfield just off a striker. And then, um, you know, I, I didn't want to be a fullback. I knew that I had too much capability going forward to, to be a fullback. Um, so, you know, I just needed to go and play. And and, and as I, and, and yeah, as, as you as you touched upon, they ended up becoming the Hensford managers after after leaving Tell for the first time round. And um, I got on great with them. You know, I, I they, they probably got some of the some of the best football that I've played. You know my career certainly at mm. that level. Um, you know they 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 got uh, they got they got the best out of me, and um, as you say, we had a lot of success there. Mm. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, supposedly, yeah. <laughs> um, you know, I'm on paper it is I'm right footed, but you know, as I say to the young lad now in training, um. You know, you don't always get the, the the time, and it doesn't always work that you can get it onto your favourite foot. So you're best off working on your weaker foot from as mm. as younger age as possible. You know, I do that now with my little boy. I encourage him as much as possible to to work on his on his weaker foot, so that you know when it comes to situations like I was in Saturday, you're not afraid to to to, to use that weaker foot to to get your shot off. Mm. That was a, an equaliser away at Boreham Wood for Chester. Um, it was, I think it would popped up on a memory maybe last weekend or the weekend before. And, you know, obviously it went viral because it was it was funny, actually, because David Beckham had been in the, the newspaper the, the weekend before about his goal from the halfway line. I don't know how or why, but... Um, and obviously growing up through my career, David Beckham was all my, always my footballing hero. And then obviously I scored that goal. And for the, for the next <laughs> however many weeks, it was, you know, it was Beckham and Doral and, you know, various <laughs> other players that have scored from the halfway line. So it was sort of like a dream come true to be, uh, to be compared or, you know, put in the same sentence as him. And, um, and yeah, as you say, it cropped back up uh, the last sort of week or so. And um, yeah, it's always, it's always nice to see a, a goal that you scored, you know, whether it's a tap in or whether it's halfway liner. Yeah, absolutely. You know, there's a this um, this this summer the, the recruitment's been good, you know, very good, and it's it's not just you know you you see you see a, a handful of clubs at, at this level who sort of just think right we've got to get all the old experienced lads in and 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 we'll get promoted and it doesn't always work like that and then you get some clubs who go the the complete opposite and they'll go right we're just going to have all young lads um, and we'll just run teams over and and again that doesn't work so for me you have to you have to make sure you get the balance right and you know the, the, the blend of, of youth and experience and I think we've got that this season um, and of course with my experience my experiences that I've had at this level and you know the level of the level above and winning various different promotions with various different clubs it's it, it's something that you're you know, you're eager to to get across to your teammates as, as early as possible. You know, I'm forever running around training like a, like I'm possessed, trying to win. You know, win a game in training because you do it in training. It becomes it becomes the norm on a Saturday. Um, and 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 you know, you win games on a Saturday. Ultimately, you um you you get to the end of the season, and you're you're not far away from uh, those targets that you set. Can, nothing compared to to playing in a, in a stadium with fans. Doesn't matter whether you have one hundred or a hundred thousand. You know, it's the noise and the energy that you get from those fans is 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 something that we play football for. You know, as I said, I'd love to be able to say that I play football for a hundred thousand pounds a week, um, and that's the only reason. But you know, the you get from here in the crowd when you when you score a goal or when you make a tackle or you know you win a header that you're not expected to win is 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 you know a great feeling and it's obviously one that's been missed over the last 18 months by every single football club um so you know it's nice just to be able to to, to have those fans back in the ground just for some interaction as well you know you, it's not always it's not always good interaction that you have. You know, I got my fair share of stick on Saturday from from the, the few Chorley fans that were there. But, you know, it's part and parcel of the game and it, it just makes it the game that we all love. So, it's you know, it's great to have the, the fans back.
Yes. A hundred duck size horses or one duck. Um probably the hundred, I reckon. I'd take my chance against the hundred little ones. <laughs>